Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Favorite Album of the Year. Today, we have arrived at 1994, making some headway into the 90s. But before we start, I want to uh, give some special mention and show off a very cool thing that was uh, sent to me here by a guy named uh, John Kerr from multimedia.org. That's www.multymedia.org. He has a, a bunch of cool shirts that he's done original check this very cool Jim Morrison the door shirt it's very neat how it's how they, the image is made up of all sorts of little different other images very very cool he's got all sorts of different shirts available as well as prints I want to kind of show you some of this cool stuff here all right if you like Pink Floyd he's got it in prints he's got it in shirts uh, Metallica Ooh. Freddie Mercury. Gotta love that, huh? What else we got? Lemmy from Motorhead. How about a little Iron Maiden? The Trooper. And Led Zeppelin. Got Jimmy Page there. And there's other stuff up there uh, in addition to some of the rock stuff. Uh, again, just uh, Jimmy... John, sorry. John Kerr is an award-winning graphic designer, artist, and photographer from Banbridge company down in Northern Ireland. Okay, John's unique talent of weaving and layering art came from a long established family history and craftsmanship. Growing up on a rural and unforgiving landscape during the troubles, he sought solace and passion in his creations. Uh, like I said, he's got all sorts of cool stuff. www.multimedia.org. That's a Y instead of an I after multi. Um, and there's John himself there. Very cool website. So thank you, John, for sending off this cool shirt and all these prints. Uh, hopefully uh, some folks go over, check out his website, and perhaps order up some of the shirts. So thanks again. Appreciate it. Love the shirt. We'll enjoy wearing it. Uh, it's nice to have a door shirt back again. I haven't had one in a million years. Anyway, back to 1994. So another really good year for music and another and a really tough year for me. Uh, I think this is the time period where you have a lot of like extreme metal, some of those, those real legendary extreme metal bands coming up specifically like the uh, Scandinavian black metal bands really starting to put out some great great releases uh you've got a couple of uh, u.s metal bands doing some really good stuff there's a lot of prog going on a lot of veteran bands coming back and killing it once again after being away from the scene for a while so this was kind of a tough choice for me and I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. I whittled it down to my favorite and my runner-up, although I do want to make mention of a couple others. And it was really kind of tough to do this one because I think my number one is an album I really dig by this band. It's not it's not my favorite album by the band. I, and I do want to kind of preface this. So I had a, a couple folks on yesterday's show who were like, but Pete, you listed uh, the Rush Counterparts album as your favorite album of 1993, yet on your Rush ranking the album show, it didn't even make your top ten. Well... You know, that's just a testament to the Rush catalog, all right? And it's just because an album might not be one of my top favorites from a band doesn't mean it can't be my favorite from a particular year, all right? So, uh, you know, let's uh, be a little conscious of that. I mean, there's a lot of factors that come into play here, right? I could, I could have a, an album that is my 15th favorite out of 20, but yet the, that particular album, that year it was released, it still decimates the rest of the competition. So you really have no way of knowing, right? It's just, it's just how it works out. So, um, so anyway, these are my favorites from this year. They don't have to coincide with yours. You feel free to list your favorites Remember, below. Remember, we all hear these albums differently. There is no right or wrong answer here. So uh, my top pick, again, not, not one of my top, top favorites from this band, but I do dig it a lot. Released October 4th, 1994. Produced by John Perdell and Dwayne Barron for East West Records. I'm talking about... Awake from Dream Theater, yes indeed, Dream Theater is now showing up twice on my countdowns here, follows uh, Images and Words as a, another favorite of the year, I, you know, I played this a ton when it came out, I still like it quite a bit, I think there are other Dream Theater albums I like more, but I still dig this one a lot, speaking of more, this is the last album with Kevin Moore on keyboards, this is their third release overall, uh, a really strong album, you know, 6 o'clock on a Christmas morning, Caught in a Web, Innocence Faded, great melodies on that. Erotomania, killer epic sounding track. Voices, very melodic, very memorable. The Silent Man, The Mirror, Lie, Lie is heavy as hell. I remember when I first heard Lie, I think that was the first kind of single they played from this album. I was like, holy crap, that's some heavy dream theater, right? 
uh, Lifting Shadows Off a Dream, Scarred, and of course, uh, Space Dive Vest. It's just a uh, very strong album uh, in the history of the band, and uh, it's my favorite from the year. As far as runner-ups go, I mean, again, had a tough time here because I had, uh, again, some extreme albums, extreme metal albums I loved a lot. Uh, a couple other really good U.S. metal records that I did quite a bit and I wanted to kind of pick up, put up here. But when it came down to it, a veteran band who, for my money, was releasing some of the best music of their career and their kind of like second part of their career and their comeback. And I just really love this album a lot. And it's uh, Where It All Begins by the Allman Brothers. I know coming up is runner ups yet again, but uh, it's a damn good one. You know, All Night Train. Soul Shine, the incomparable Soul Shine, Sailing Across the Devil's Sea, Back Where It All Begins, uh, Nobody Left to Run With Anymore. I mean, just great songs. Uh, mean Woman Blues, Everybody's Got a Mountain to Climb, What's Done is Done. I mean, so many good songs on here. Killer guitar work from Dickie Betts and Warren Haynes. You got, uh, you know, J-Mo and Butch Trucks and Greg Allman and Alan Woody. I mean, this is just um, top-notch stuff. Mark Quinones on percussion also. Don't want to forget Mark. He was kind of new to the band at the time. So killer, killer stuff. That is my runner-up. So there you have it. My favorite of the year is Awake by Dream Theater, followed by where it all begins from the Allman Brothers. I do want to mention a few honorable mentions here. So my number three pick probably would have been Emperor in the Nightside Eclipse. Just a fantastic, groundbreaking, symphonic black metal album from Isan and company. Uh, had, that, that almost made my runner-up, but I just I had to go back to which one has kind of meant more to me over the years. I didn't get into Emperor until later on, like probably at least a decade after that came out. Uh, Soundgarden, Super Unknown, of course have to give that consideration to that pantera far beyond driven uh pink floyd the division bell which i know is going to be number one for a lot of you fantastic album i dig that quite a bit uh you know you what else you got you got walk on by boston uh alice cooper lance temptation amorphous tales from a thousand lakes um enslaved frost danzig four right halloween master of the rings you know, so many other you know really good albums from that that year but these are my two favorites list yours below okay in the comments to your top pick, your top five, your top ten, whatever you want to do. I know some of you list a whole bunch. So uh, very cool. So another pretty good year for uh, for music. And uh, for all of those of you who are seemingly popping on to this show, um, specifically this favorite albums of the year show in the 90s, because you're probably a lot younger and uh, you kind of grew up with 90s music who are like in an uproar that I don't pick enough grunge or alternative or punk music. <laughs> all right. That's not what this channel is all about because it's not the kind of music I really dig. So I'm going to pick what are my favorites. I'm not just going to pick a, you know, band that came up. I mean, well, Dream Theater basically came up in the 90s. I know their first album was 89, but they became a prominent band in the 90s. So I am picking 90s bands, all right? Um, but I'm not going to pick alternative or grunge bands just because you like them, just because they were huge selling albums during the decade. Remember, this has nothing to do with album sales or what was at the top of the charts or what was riding high for three or four years, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's my favorites. If you want to pick them, go right ahead. That's the, the whole point of this thing is to get a discussion about the music we love. Okay, so mine doesn't have to match with yours. In fact, it shouldn't. So just if you listen to what I pick, put yours below. It's kind of the way it goes. What I am amazed at is how many REM fans we have here. You know, I did uh, last year sometime, I did that whole, you know, Bands I Love to Hate show. And, of course, R.E.M. came up on that show. But I'm, I'm amazed at how many loyal followers of this channel actually really love R.E.M., which I think is fine, right? It's, it's very cool that we all like different stuff. So I just happened to notice that because I do go through the comments and I see R.E.M., R.E.M. All, all over the place the last bunch of years. Very cool. Hey, if you dig them, very cool. So remember, give uh, give John Kerr some love at www.multimedia.org. Remember to multi with a Y, media.org. Check out some of his cool shirts. If you dig my uh, Jim Morrison door shirt, you can go get yourself a, one of those or a Freddie Mercury or a Zeppelin or Metallica or whatever. He's got a whole bunch of them up there. all very cool. This is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with 1995. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.